What's up guys, welcome back. And in the background, what you're watching is some MK14 Moab action. And I'm sorry if I sound a bit sniffly because apparently I've got a cold again. Um, it wasn't, yeah, so MK14 Moab. And this was my very, very first Moab that I ever got. And I thought it'd be kind of fitting to use some NW3 Infinity Ward gameplay, gameplay as infinite infinite warfare why do i have trouble saying that as infinite warfare is literally like a day away well not even a day away because i'm gonna be playing it tonight when it comes out on launch and years ago i used to go down to the launches with my mates we used to make a night of it we used to meet up go out for a curry have a few beers queue up to get the game get the game go home and then i'd be the only one playing because everyone would go to bed really early and be playing it all night why not? I'm going to be playing it all night tonight. I haven't got work tomorrow. I've got the day off. I'm just going to be playing Call of Duty. And it's quite exciting, to be honest. I know I've been a little bit down on Infinite Warfare and saying that I thought Call of Duty was dead or dying, should I say, in my last video. But I'm still excited. Like I said, I love Call of Duty. I always have loved Call of Duty. And this year, I get to play two Call of Duties. Which then puts in a bit of a dilemma. Now which one do you play first? Do you play Infinite Warfare or do you play the remastered Call of Duty 4? Which I was actually watching some live stream of some guy playing it who was in New Zealand which is why he had the game because obviously it's out in New Zealand and just to let you know trying to change your settings to like the time zone of New Zealand doesn't work. I tried it. It doesn't work. Your Xbox still knows that you're in the country that you're in. It doesn't work. So don't even bother. I don't know about the PS4 but on the Xbox One it does not work. So it's a really exciting time to be a gamer. There's so many good games that have come out. I mean, I've been watching some videos from Titanfall 2, and I was I didn't want to buy it because I didn't really get into in, uh, Titanfall, the first one. And then I looked at some videos. I was like, oh, it looks quite good. But then I was like, I can't. I can't keep buying games. I've got Battlefield. I've got Mafia. I've got the new Call of Duty's coming out, which I know that that'll take up most of my time because I don't know what it is about Call of Duty. It just makes you want to play it. I don't know, I'll be playing any game and I'm like, oh, I just want to play some Call of Duty. I just love Call of Duty. Whether it be good or bad, we still like it. And all the haters, they'll be playing it too. Let's face it, everyone just hates on Call of Duty. Everyone hates to love Call of Duty, I think. Everyone just likes to hate Call of Duty. They might moan about it, but they still love it. And if they didn't love it, they wouldn't be moaning about it. How many videos you see in your feed of people moaning about the beta? I mean, sorry. Demo, my bad, the demo. How many people have you seen in your feed that are moaning or have moaned about the beta? Sorry, demo. There's been loads of people, loads, moaning about a beta or demo that wasn't actually the full game. And yet they're basing everything on just a handful of maps and a little bit of gameplay that they might have played. It seems a bit silly. I mean, maybe this, this Call of Duty has got the most hate, but I think if you look back, there's been a lot of hate for Call of Duty in general. I was watching some of Thunder's old videos, and like, he didn't particularly like NW2 that much, but yet still played it. And in his last video, he said that he's actually going to be playing Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty 4. It was kind of funny because he said how much he hated it. Maybe that's because they've nerfed the snipers, and maybe they have, maybe they haven't, maybe it still will be that you can still quit scope. But I think you'll still be able to. But if you have lobbies like I did on the last day of the, of the demo, it actually wasn't too bad. And I actually quite enjoyed it. It was it was quite a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope everyone else is as well. I, I still think Call of Duty is, is, is never going to die. It won't ever die. It's too big of a franchise. And maybe next year it will be back to boots on the ground. But it's quite interesting when I watched a video from Andy the Unknown Legend that um, he was saying about the perks in the game that there was no like quick draw perk or anything like that. Maybe that's what they need to do is go back and not have those kind of perks because they kind of feel like now you need to run those perks to stand any chance in a gunfight. I know you, you, you don't have to, but obviously if you look at the Mark J, he always uses any of those perks that kind of help you be more ready for a one-on-one -on -one gunfight or any gunfight. I know there's some people that don't and like to 
like ADS and you stalker or whatever attachment it is that allows you to strafe quicker, which obviously isn't in Call of Duty Remastered either. But yeah, maybe let's just go back to how it used to be. Maybe they just need to simplify Call of Duty again. Maybe that's what they need to do to make make the franchise more lovable. I think is the right word because there are quite a lot of people hating at the moment. I'm not sure why, really. I'm not sure why. Anyway, this was a this is a really old gameplay. Like I said, this is from from years ago, and I had it saved in my vault. I went back and played some MW3 the other day, and I thought it'd be quite good to bring back this video, which I did do on my channel years and years and years ago. And I think I get my Moab around about here, and then I get killed directly afterwards. And to be honest, when I got this, I didn't even know that I'd, I got it. I kind of saw this thing down the bottom, I was like, what's that? I didn't even know it was in the game at the time. I was a bit naive back then. I didn't know a lot. I used to just play Call of Duty and that was it. So this is my first Moab I ever got. And then I went on to get loads more. And it's one of the funnest Call of Duties that I've played. I love MW3 and I still love it to this day. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I do. Anyway, next video for me will probably be some Infinite Warfare or maybe Call of Duty 4 Remastered. Who knows? Maybe a bit of both. Anyway, hope you guys like the video and I will see you on the other side when Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty 4 Remastered comes out. I hope you all enjoy and I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.